Hi guys, I am so excited to finally be sharing with you about my homemade non-toxic candles. I recently opened an Etsy shop selling these candles and I know the word non-toxic can sometimes be confusing, but I feel like when it comes to candles, a lot of candles out there do contain potentially harmful ingredients like paraffin wax, which is full of possible carcinogens. And when you burn that, it's just not good to breathe in. Also a lot of other uh, waxes that are used and uh, fragrance oils that are used can be packed with ingredients that are really not good for our health. And there have been studies showing that these things can be harmful. So I am a huge fan of candles and because of that I wanted to create my own candles that I felt completely safe using. Um, there definitely are a lot of other non-toxic candle brands out there that are amazing. I've done a whole video about that before but I wanted to create my own as well. I did a whole lot of research into the wax that I was using, the fragrance oils, um, the wick that I was using, all of that stuff to make sure that it was absolutely something that I would feel safe and comfortable using. But of course, I also wanted them to smell good and make you feel cozy and just fill the room with a really beautiful scent. So I decided to create my own homemade candles. I currently have six scents available. These are them right here. I'm gonna go through all of the scents that I have available. But first, I wanna give you some details about the ingredients that are used in these candles. Like I mentioned, a lot of candles that are available are made with toxic waxes, also toxic dyes and carcinogenic fragrances, which can be very harmful to our health. So when looking into candles, I wanted to make sure that the wax that I was using was totally safe and didn't contain any unwanted ingredients. I know like soy wax is often marketed as known to be a healthier wax. Wax, but the problem with soy wax a lot of the times is that it can be made with pesticides. It's not always organic. There definitely are some brands that are making sure to use organic soy wax, um, but that's something you definitely want to look into when you do get a soy wax candle is to make sure that it is organic soy wax and that it does not contain any pesticides. So when finding the wax for my candles, I actually ended up getting a blend of three different waxes, coconut wax, soy wax, and beeswax. So it's a coconut, soy, and beeswax blend. And these are all organic, renewable, and not made with any pesticides, which of course you do not want to be breathing in pesticides. You don't want to be burning those pesticides. So that's why that is so important. I also wanted to make sure that the wax was free of parabens and petrochemicals. I also wanted to make sure that the fragrance oils that I use are free of carcinogens, reproductive toxins, and also any other potentially hazardous chemicals, chemicals that are often found in fragrance. And I also wanted to make sure that the fragrance oils would be phthalate free. I also wanted to make sure that the fragrance oils did not contain any chemicals from California's Prop 65 list. Instead of a cotton wick I thought it would be fun to do a wood crackling wick so I use a non-toxic wood crackling wick so it kind of gives that like campfire effect and just makes a little bit of a crackling sound which I personally really like. I also wanted to make sure that I did not use any dyes in the wax because sometimes dyes can contain harmful ingredients um, especially when you burn them so that's why my wax is just white. I don't put any dye in it. Right now I do one size jar so these are actually eight ounce jars but an eight ounce jar doesn't fill eight ounces of wax and that's something that I see a lot with candles sometimes is that sometimes they will say the amount of wax they will actually give the um, jar size instead of the amount of wax that is actually in the jar um, so an eight ounce jar doesn't hold eight ounces of wax so I actually made sure to do the calculation and the calculations when I weighed it and everything is that this contains seven ounces of wax um, and it's actually a little bit more than that you'll be getting like 7.05 ounces of wax to be exact. Currently four of my candles are made with this amber glass jar so it's this really pretty amber color. Some of my newer scents I did get new jars and these are clear jars. So now let's get into each of the scents that I have available. So the first one that I have is called Just Breathe. This is a lavender scented candle. Just Breathe is a strong aromatic blend of herbs, lavender and woods, sage, rosemary and chamomile bring an earthiness to the lavender. It has hints of sandalwood and cedar which are strengthened by clove, lavender and cedar wood essential oils. It also has a clean herbal scent that helps you create a calming atmosphere. So it's great for any 
any area in your house where you want just a calming atmosphere. The top note in here is lavender, middle notes of camphor, chamomile, sage, and rosemary, and base notes of sandalwood and cedarwood. Next, Daydream, which is definitely one of my favorites that I have available. This one is a soft, dreamy scent with top notes of lemon and ginger, middle notes of jasmine and honeysuckle, and base notes of wood, violet, amorous, and powder. All these scents mingle to create a beautiful floral, honey sweet aroma. It's a must have candle scent for spring and summer, but is also a lovely floral scent to carry all year round. This is a personal favorite of mine. If you like floral scents, then I definitely think that you would like this. Think honeysuckle and jasmine and also some lemon. It smells so, so beautiful. Then for all of you who are a fan of fresh scents or the scent of the ocean, just kind of like an ozone type of scent, you may like my Ocean Paradise candle. Ocean Paradise brings a pure ozonic freshness to any room. If you're looking for a fresh summer scent that reminds you of the beach and or fresh air, this is it. This clean scent has top notes of ozone and fresh linen. Eucalyptus and freesia mix beautifully to bring out the core scent of sea salt. A base note of moss adds an earthy depth while a hint of powder helps keep the scent light and airy. Ocean Paradise is sure to create a calming atmosphere in any room. I personally really like this. If you like ocean scents, I think that you would like this one as well. Also, something to know is actually, these are actually really, really quite strongly scented. They're not overly strong, but you're definitely going to get a scent from them. Um, so if you do like very much scented candles, you want a candle that's really going to kind of make a room smell really good. I think that these definitely do that. I know I'm biased because I make them, but they're actually like the scent is just, it's really, it's really good. Next is fall cashmere. This is a fruity type of scent. I actually had this previously called as summer rain, so you can kind of adjust it um, for the season, but I changed the label to be fall cashmere because I thought it'd be a great fall scent as well. Fall cashmere is a warm and comforting scent, which makes it perfect for fall, but also has like this fruity smell to it. The dark plum heart of this scent is enhanced by bright citrus and a hint of black cherry. Base notes of amber, sugar, and vanilla add a sweetness to the scent, while musk and freesia add a light, earthy dimension. This scent will have you thinking of that fresh, crisp fall air and fallen leaves, or it can maybe even make you think of an apple orchard, just something fruity um, and fresh. The cozy warmth of the scent also makes it perfect for the holidays. The scent is infused with natural essential oils, including cedar, bergamot, and clary sage. The top note is citrus, middle notes of plum and black cherry, base notes of amber, sugar, light musk, freesia, and vanilla. Then two of the newer candles that I recently came out with are I think scents that are great for the holidays um, but honestly they're good for all year round, at least in my opinion. I really enjoy them. Apple bourbon is a mouth-watering, boozy scent that starts with top notes of apple, cinnamon, and a hint of orange. Bourbon and butter are the heart of this fragrance, while rich, sweet maple and vanilla finish off this irresistible baked apple dessert. Perfect for any space that could benefit from a delicious bakery scent. And also something to note is each of my candles, I do package them up in a nice little box, so it makes it really good for gifting if you wanted to give these as a gift. So yeah, I really really like the scent. People that I have shown this scent to really like it. I gifted it to some of my family members for Christmas. Also, the next one that I'm going to talk to you about, I gifted to some people for Christmas. Apple oh, bourbon, if you want that like traditional, like sweet kind of like fall scent or holiday scent, something that is very sweet and smells like a dessert, then I think that you would really like this one. And then lastly, Christmas day. This one I really, really enjoy. It's a really fresh, scent of like fresh air and balsam. So think like Christmas trees. Christmas day reminds me of the fresh scent of a Christmas tree. Imagine a crisp winter night, the crunch of new fallen snow beneath your feet and the brisk scent of pine. This fresh scent has top notes of sparkling champagne and citrus that merge with a heart of balsam and cedar with base notes of moss mixed with woodsy pine, juniper, and padaloo. So I really like this. It's a very fresh scent. It's not like a super overpowering balsam scent, but it's just like fresh and still has that scent of fresh balsam. It's just really refreshing. Um, it just kind of reminds you of a Christmas tree. My family goes to Maine every year for vacation and it reminds me of the fresh scent of the outdoors with the pine trees. It just smells really good in my opinion. So those are all of the candle scents that I currently have. I may eventually come out with some more, but this is what I have to start. I do have a pretty limited stock of everything right now since I do this 
all by myself. My fiance sometimes helps me. It's definitely made in very small batches. I only have a few of each of these right now. I would love for you to try it. Um, I don't know how long they're gonna stay in stock. If these all do end up selling out, I will get more supplies and continue making them. It's kind of like a trial. Um, I don't know how well this is gonna do. Um, but I'm really excited for you guys to try them. If nobody ends up buying them, well, at least I know how to make candles myself now and know how to find the good ingredients. Um, but yeah, I really like these. I know I'm biased, but I really hope some of you might like to try them. And if you do, your support means so much to me. And if you're watching this video, I'd love to give you guys a discount code um, because of Etsy fees and shipping. Um, I had to price it at $20, which I know seems like a lot for candles, but I was when I was looking on Etsy at a lot of other candles that are being sold on Etsy, that actually seems like a price that people do. But I had to price it this way also because of the cost of the materials, um, the time to make them, um, and just making sure that I actually do get some profit from them because they're actually relatively expensive to make just because I'm not getting like the cheaper ingredients, I'm not getting the cheaper wax. I made sure that I was getting organic wax, which tends to be more expensive and just see more high quality supplies without those toxic ingredients. But I still hope that you guys can try them. And since you're watching this video, I'd love to give you guys a discount code. Use the code YouTube20, it'll give you 20% off. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'd love for you guys to try my candles. Thank you so much to any of you who end up purchasing one of them or a few of them. Um, your support means so much to me and I am so thankful for you guys. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If you guys are new here, I'd love for you to subscribe and I hope to see you all for my next video.